So let's talk about the Drake effect and what having his name on a song or in a video can do for your career. Because Drake is an actual cheat code when it comes to the music industry. And I'm not here to discuss who the most talented is or who the best rapper is, but when talking about numbers and influence in the past decade, it's only a few that can even come close to Drake's numbers. Drake's mainstream appeal and status is so large, when he drops, it's basically guaranteed number one. And that's become so normal that the true level of popularity it takes to achieve that status is completely underlooked because it's Drake. And aside from having one of the most successful, well played out careers, and it's what he does for other people that keeps him relevant in modern day rap. And being discovered by Lil Wayne, and Lil Wayne being so open to letting Drake take the shine, it really molded Drake into being a giving artist. Because the amount of rappers that Drake played a part in blowing up, man, it's insane. So let's talk about artists that Drake put on. Now there's a few different type of artists. Some people he fully put on, and others, you know, he just gave them a hand to the top. And also there's been rappers who it just didn't work out, but they still got that little nice Drake care package, which is a number one record, free clout, new fans, and of course, a bag. So where should we start? Well, we'll start with rappers that he didn't fully put on, but plays more a role in their come up more than the public may know. And to start off, I want to talk about The Weeknd, who ironically enough, has become one of the biggest stars in the modern day age of music. And although Drake didn't really directly put him on, he's got a lot more to do with The Weeknd's early success than people may think. Because in 2010, before The Weeknd really had any mainstream buzz, Man, Drake played a weekend song on a blog spot, which for people who don't know, that's just like some internet shit in 2010. Now with Drake's notoriety, even in 2010, this was the first real push for The Weeknd. But The Weeknd returned the favor and contributed to the project Take Care a lot more than people may think. He also ended up getting a verse 2 on that album, which you can imagine definitely helped his career out. But the reason people don't really mention this is because they fell out. Drake thought that The Weeknd didn't really credit him enough for his success. So Drake's kind of being a little pig me, but we don't know how much really went on behind the scenes. From what it seems like, The Weeknd kind of regretted giving Drake all those songs. And now, like I said, there's a lot of rappers that Drake didn't directly introduce to the world, rather than just shine a light on them at a point where they weren't really established yet. Because another major rapper who credits Drake for a lot of his success is ASAP Rocky. And although New Yorkers are going to disagree with me, Rocky was young as shit, not signed, and new to the game when Drake took him to open on one of his tours. He also took Kendrick, which Drake obviously didn't put him on, but like I said earlier, just shined a light on these newer artists who go on to absolutely take over. But back to Rocky, man, he would build a real relationship with ASAP Rocky in these early years. It would actually give him a verse on ASAP's album, which would go on to be one of his biggest songs. Now, Drake's kindness and unselfishness is what makes him so great. And just like Lil Wayne, building bonds is one way of putting somebody on. But also, laying down a verse on an upcoming rapper's song, man, that shit can make people's life change from 0 to 100. Like the Migos in 2013. Although they were building hype and they had Look At My Dab, they were just one of the many groups in Atlanta trying to make it out the hood. But after this Drake feature, man, this will be the star of one of the best runs we have ever seen from a rap trio. And like the Migos, another rapper who a feature alone kickstarted their career was Lil Baby. As we all know, Yes Indeed was the song of summer 2019. And they had went on a run together and made a few bangers. But let's not forget, yeah he had a little buzz outside Atlanta with My Dog, but once that Drake feature hit, man it had taken him to a whole nother level. Now whether Drake put somebody on or not, once you get that feature, it's on you now to stay up. And Drake clearly has a great eye because 3 years later Baby will finish the year with the most streamed album. Not in rap, but in music. And while Drake blessed Migos and Lil Baby, and they used that to take off their career, I can't say the same for other rappers, like Blockboy JB, a notorious one hit wonder, who Drake actually reached out to to make the song. And after having one of the most viral songs of 2019, he hasn't been able to return to that level. Same with I Love Mac on, I don't even know how to say that shit to be honest, but you know, if he made it, I wouldn't know how to set it. That's the dude who sings Tuesday. Now that was a banger, but man, we know that didn't work out. Same with Smiley who came out with that song, but it really only blew up because Smiley was trash, but the fact that Drake was on it, man, even though they didn't capitalize off it, they still got that Drake care package so I really don't feel bad for them. Now a rapper who was already on and ran shit for a minute and then started to slow down was actually revived by Drake and that's Lil Durk. Now Lil Durk has always been hard, let me say that. And once he got out his deal in 2018, I think, he was putting out banger after banger, slow song hits, some hard drill shit. And although the music was there, he wasn't really popping on a superstar level and his numbers like declined and then they were starting to slowly go back up. But once he got that Drake feature, 
Laugh Now Cry Later with over 400 million views on YouTube, man, it just took Dirk to a whole nother level, higher than we've ever seen him in the past 10 years. Which, if that's not motivation, I don't know what is. Now, the thing is, Dirk was on his way up regardless. He got out his deal and he was going up and up and up. But without Drake, who knows how long that would have taken and who knows if it even would have happened. Drake really dropped that song with him and it was just everywhere. Two of the biggest rappers of this generation were both helped out by Drake. And that's not even it from this generation. Because even though OG Kodak fans aren't going to agree with me, Man, for the people who didn't hear him for the first time with no flocking, there's a high chance that Drake's IG story in 2015 of him dancing a skirt skirt while on a jet, that could definitely be the thing that puts you on a Kodak Black and you might not even know it. Because at the time, with Kodak not even having over a mil on Instagram and Drake having over 10 mil and having his project with Future being hyped up and talked about, posting that on his story definitely helped Kodak in many ways. Even though they never ended up making a song together and... Kodak claims that Drake never reached out. Now, of course, you could say that about anybody Drake does a video on that, you know, people found him through that. But even by that, you can just tell, like, anything this man does gets in the headlines. Like, he's literally a cheat code. And we've been talking about rappers. So just to prove to you how deep this Drake effect is, man, who knows where Giveon would be? Giveon is currently a modern-day superstar with one of the most beautiful voices that, you know, anybody's heard. It's, this man is goaded. He's amazing. But you know where most of us heard him for the first time? Chicago Freestyle by Drake in one of the most beautiful samples. With his songs nowadays putting up amazing numbers spreading worldwide, where would he be without that iconic sample? Last time I checked, that's got like 50 mil on YouTube. Man, this shit gets deep. Even Drewski being in Drake's music video and only having a few hundred thousand followers, that can definitely change your life for the better. And it clearly did because Drewski's going nothing but up. That's the thing with Drake, he's tapped in. Remember 2018 when he went on Ninja's stream? And that would propel Ninja to go on to be the biggest streamer of the year, setting the record for most subs that just got broken recently, that record too. Ninja's career would just take off after that collab with Drake. And like I said, it's because Drake knows what he's doing, bro. He clearly knows what will get views, and he's clearly tapped in. That's why all those memes that go around, I know Drake sees those in. He's probably just like, damn, they think I'm a bitch. But anyways, like I was saying, bro, Ninja, Drewski, these aren't even people in the rap industry. The power of the Drake care package is deeper than music. Not only everything he touches, but everything around him turns gold. Even his right-hand man, 40, has built a respected name just by being his right-hand man. It's truly a blessing to see such a massive superstar with such high praise and expectation still giving unknown creators and artists a chance. The fact he's simply aware of how a Drake feature can change somebody's life forever is a reason why so many people love him. Same way people love Young Thug for just giving so many people a chance. It's crazy to see how many people Drake's contributed success to. And his humble mindset is what the rap industry needs right now. And even if you flop, the guaranteed items from the Drake care package are instant clout, a bag, and man, it's just your job to stay up. And it's gonna be a while till we see an artist who really just runs shit in the industry like Drake does, man. Who knows how the fuck he does it? But it's been your boy Ten Toes, and I'll catch you boys in the next one. Yeah.